So here we are, the very first week of rehearsals for the Outlaws. And I can't tell you how excited I am. I've been thinking about this for years, getting all these great guys and great mates, and great artists in one room, working out the songs. We're picking songs, we're, we're putting our own spin on them. I can't wait for you to see the journey. In those sections, do you want to just try taking the lead? Same old, same old. I'm always, I'm all, from the, I'm always working. But a good time, and it don't get better than this. Feels good, feels strong. In choosing the outlaws, I had to look at, first of all, people who I knew really well and was very, very comfortable with. People who I'd, who I'd had experience with before, spent time on the road, spent time in the studio with before. Um, even deeper than that though, they had to have the same kind of mind, you know, the like-mindedness in, in our music in how we view the industry and how we view performing on stage. I mean if we you know if there was if there was the wrong characters on stage, you know, then it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna gel, it's not gonna be powerful. But everyone in this everyone in this band all love to rock out. All love a certain style of, of country music. And um, they're all very passionate about their music. So for me it was very important to get the right mixture. Songs in this album um, are a real collection of, um, of old school country, right through to uh, classic rock, right through to um, you know, a song by Jeffrey Steele, which is cutting new age, uh, but still has an edge, an outlaw edge to it. So, um, you know, we've taken these songs, we haven't done them exactly the same way as the originals. Uh, we've kind of put our spin on it, which is hours and hours sitting in a rehearsal studio and trying to find something that, you know, sort of branded us. Yeah, these guys in a room together. I really feel that you know, within this group, within the Outlaws, I think there's a couple of guys who I think are, the, are on the precipice, right on the edge of just making it big. And uh, Trav's definitely one of those guys. So you know, I think he's a, I think he's a superstar in the making. So you're going to see, you're going to see Trav in the front of that stage, right on the edge. You know, back to back with me just rock it out, just go on for it, this is going to be fun. I went on the road with Brandy all of 2013, we played a lot of shows, um, travelled all around the country and we become really good mates and uh, uh, we spent a lot of late nights skateboarding, we spent a lot of sound checks, we spent uh, a lot of times he was trying to teach me how to cook, I still haven't got the hang of that. Matty Cornell, my class as a brother, the very first gig he did for me, um, we were in Mackay and it was hot, he was, in, he was in his motel room, had the fans going and he's, this is how the story goes, he's putting his shirt on or something and he's, he's put his arm up to put his shirt on and stuck his hand straight into the fan, bang, off to emergency, stitches in his fingers, his very first gig he did for me, <laughs> he's playing with blood dripping out his fingers. <laughs> I fought the law, uh, both my parents being in the music business, um, they're good mates with Digger Ravel, and uh, if anyone knows anything about Digger Ravel, he, uh, he did a little bit of time inside, and when he came out, that used to be his theme song, and I remember my mum was doing a show with Digger one night, and, uh, and he used to close his show with I Fought the Law, so to me it's like uh, full circle, I used to watch Digger sing that when I was a kid, and now I'm going to play it with the outlaw. I fought the law and the law won. I fought Well, the single Good Year for the Outlaw is a great song written by one of my idols, Jeffrey Steele. What an awesome songwriter. First time I was in Nashville, I was very young, didn't know anything. I was standing on the corner with my suitcase ready to get on a plane to go back to Australia after four weeks. This guy pulls up in a big, you know, like you thing jumps out and just walks over to me and starts talking to me you know how are you where you're from all that sort of stuff and we talked for like half an hour 
And that was Jeffrey Stowe. So Mike Carr, we've known each other for many years and written heaps and heaps of songs together. I guess, I guess you could call him my sort of, uh, my songwriting soulmate in a way. We wrote Get Loud, New England Highway, Anzac, so many songs over the years. But in the end it's right I hope you had the time of your Another turning point of folks stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go so Well this is the last day of band tracking for the Outlaws album and um, we've saved the single to last. We're about to about to track it now. Single's called Just Might Be a Good Year for the Outlaws. G'day, it's the Outlaws here, and we're in our prison cell in cell block B, and this is our very first video. It's a good year for the Outlaws. First time I heard good heart and woman, I was in my uncle's car. He said, son, now that's what I call music. Listen to them guitars. You turn it up. Go on, turn it up. We're playing songs that everyone knows every word of from the very first beat. I mean, how much fun is this going to be? We've got five guys all singing songs that some of our favourite songs in the world that everyone knows. And we're, we're touring nationally with it. And we're just... We just can't wait. <laughs> we are absolutely buzzing, ready to get out there. This Outlaws album is raw, it's honest, it's loud, it's proud. This is what you're going to get when you come and see us on stage. 